Dealing with Statements Spillover on the pages of the JASA Financial Statements template. In this video, we will look at how to deal with statements spillover. Isn't it frustrating when a statement doesn't quite fit on a printed page? Perhaps only one or two lines end up on the next page. This is statement spillover. This video will show you what options are available to help you resolve this issue. A feature added to CaseView with the release of the 2019 version of CaseView Working Papers and the features included in the Jazzit Financial Statement template. Here we have a print preview of a balance sheet that is encroaching onto a second page. In the CaseView menu bar you can see the feature which was added to CaseView with the 2019 version of CaseWare Working Papers. This Merge Pages section. Here we see that page 5 is spilling over onto page 6. To merge page 6 onto page 5, click on this page cell and select page 5, the first of the two pages we wish to merge. The next page number is automatically populated for us. Click on Merge Pages to perform the merge. Here we see the result of the two merged pages, the complete balance sheet on page 5. If there is too much content to be merged onto the first page, the merge will result in this error message being displayed. Please be aware that this feature is only available while you are in Print Preview, so your selection is not saved anywhere for future printing. Now let's take a look at the features available in the Jazzit Financial Statement template that enable you to reduce certain spacing, allowing the spillover to fit on the first page. As long as the spillover can reasonably be expected to fit onto the first page. In the balance sheet, you are able to reduce spacing above each section heading, Assets, Liabilities and Equity. In this case I'll demonstrate using the Assets heading. Right click on the heading and then select Spacing above Heading and select a smaller space than what is currently selected. If the minimum No Spacing Above is already selected, there's not much you can do. So move on to the other section headings and adjust those. In this case I'm selecting No Spacing Above to reduce the existing selection of Narrow Spacing Above. And here you see the Reduce Space Above the Assets heading. This is available for the Liabilities and Equity sections as well. The other options for the balance sheet are in the Long Term sections both assets and liabilities. Right click anywhere in either of the long term sections, select section format and then select a smaller spacing option if the smallest is not currently selected. Here I'm selecting no spacing to reduce the space from the existing selection which is narrow spacing. And you will notice the spacing between all line items in the long term section is reduced. This is also available in the long term liability section. The same spacing option is also available in this area below equity. Those are the options for the balance sheet. Now let's take a look at the options in the income statement. Each section of the income statement includes an option for you to reduce the section to a single line via a right click menu. In this example the sales section only contains a single line item, so I'm moving down to the cost of sales section. To access the menu options, simply right click anywhere in the section, select section format and then collapse this section to one line. And here you can see the cost of sales section is now presented as a single line. This option is available for all sections of the income statement. One other option for the income statement, which could be useful if the spillover content is more than simply a few lines, is the option to present the expenses as a schedule. This can be activated from the statement menu. Simply turn the Expense Schedule on by clicking the button to the left of Expenses. The green indicating that the schedule has been activated. Double clicking on the word Expenses will jump you directly down to the schedule, which has been added to the end of the template. 
The entire expenses section has been moved to the schedule and if we preview the page it appears as a separate schedule to the statements. Returning to the income statement we see the expense section has been reduced to a single line referencing the schedule. A quick recap of what we just learned. When a page of a Case 2 document spills over onto a subsequent page there are ways to make the spillover fit onto the first page, if the spillover content can reasonably fit onto the first page. We took a look at the CaseView Merge Pages feature, which was introduced with the 2019 release of CaseView Working Papers. And we took a look at the features that are built into the balance sheet and income statement of the JASA Financial Statements, which allow us to reduce spacing in specific areas. Caseware should be easy. To find out how, visit us at jazit.com.